So, hello again YouTube, from the airgun cave this time. I have the Fury 20mm slightly disassembled because I want to take some measurements and uh, I'm going to make modifications to the valve body. I, When I made this I just wanted to make something functional and then test a couple of different valve designs on which 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 of them works better but now when the gun is functional i want to make changes on how it looks because the machining is kind of rough i did this pretty fast because well the season was starting and i wanted to i wanted to test stuff yeah so now i'm just taking taking some critical measurements that that needs to be here and what I can change on the block. I'm going to shorten it some and attach a bigger air cylinder here because on this season I want to make slightly more power using just pure air and not adding any helium to the mix. So, but yeah, let's go to the computer and I'll show what I have in mind on how to pretty up the gun. I want it to look as good as is, it is functional. So here are the modifications I'm going to make to the gun. First of all, I'm going to shorten the front and make an external thermal thread here where I can thread a new bigger air cylinder. And then the second one is I want to add some engravings and some cuts on the frame to make it look more more like it's designed and not just fabricated in a cave. So and this is the other side how I take the clearing cuts and clearing the charging handle and of course it's going to have the target logo on here also and some some scallops or whatever you would call lightning cuts on the lower part of the valve housing and I'm going to make some small changes to the inner part of the valve because I want to I want to shorten the valve lock time and see how it how it works and if we get better accuracy by shortening the lock time of the gun. It is it is very difficult to shoot because of the recoil and the long barrel and there there's you you need to hold the gun very firmly. It's very accurate if you get the hold just right. You can just about stack the slugs top of, on top of each other on 100 meters. And you can hit 250 to 300 millimeter plate on 300 meters. So, so it's it's pretty accurate when you when you get the hold right. But it's it's very sensitive because the valve lock time is pretty is pretty long. With the long barrel, the barrel time is very long. How long the slug is into the in the rifling and if you if you flinch you you'll see it immediately in the target so anyways this is just a small update on on the gun what's going on with it i know some people have have joined my channel just to see me shoot the 20 millimeter and shoot pumpkins or on or whatnot and I hope this season my friend is going to take better videos because I am not very good at making videos but but he's he's very good he's very good at making videos and editing them and and go check his check his channel on Baviops. He makes excellent excellent airsoft videos go check him out so 
I hope we can we can shoot some more entertaining stuff stuff for you guys and keep you posted on what's going on with the gun and 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 stuff when when the summer starts and the season starts so you all stay safe and have a nice day bye